Kia ora whanau. My name's Jeremy Waters and I'm the chairman of the board at Tamahiri Model Country School. Uh, normally at this uh, new parents evening I stand and talk to you all about a little bit about what the board does. Um, for obvious reasons we're moving to online this year. Um, so first of all I'd just like to say welcome. Um, it's a great school to be part of. I've had three children through uh, Tamahiri, uh, right from year one, um, and I've got one left, Lauren, who's in year five this year. Um, the other two have moved on to through Barclay and now into Boys High and Cambridge High. So, um, been with the school a wee while, and um, it's an exciting school to be part of, and I'm sure one that your kids will thoroughly enjoy. Uh, on behalf of the board, again, welcome. Um, if you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to contact any one of us. Um, we're an approachable bunch of people and you usually see us around uh, picking kids up or on the sideline watching our kids and vocally giving our support. So um, feel free to call us or email us if you have any questions um, or any issues that you need dealt with. I'm sure it won't be a problem. Um, just a couple of things. Uh, Waverley will have covered off. Um, a lot about what happens and is what happening at the moment uh, with regards to COVID and the regulations that are going on, you know, that are um, making life at school a little bit interesting. We fully support what's going on and we and um, it certainly makes life tougher for everybody. Um, frustrating that your parents can't be on school grounds and um, the ability to watch our kids do activities and be part of us is limited. Um, this is for everyone's safety, obviously. Um, it will be interesting as we go forward just how things um, go down, I suppose. Um, it's going to be a case of dealing with infections and um, close contacts and things as they pop up. Um, there's a fairly complicated flow chart of just how those are to be managed. Um, Obviously, this is relaxing every day as it becomes more commonplace and we learn more about how to deal with things uh, and the community becomes more adept at um, coping with us as we go forward. So um, it's been a challenging year or two and um, I think we're all hoping that we can get through this and move on to a bit more normality. Uh, certainly, uh, I know it's been challenging for as, looking, as parents looking at children and um seeing them doing online learning and things, it's a, it's a new way of schooling. Um, probably teaches them some new skills, um, but it's different to what we've known, certainly as parents, um, and what our kids have known in the past. So, um, From an administration point of view, our, our job as the board is to oversee governance of the school. Um, we meet every couple of months, uh, look after the school's finances, uh, look after development projects um, as well as things like recruitment and HR in conjunction with the operational side of the school. Um, we rely very heavily um, on our donations and our activity fees um, and you'll see you probably will have received those invoices by now. Um, there's all sorts of options available. I know what I do is we just set up a monthly payment um, and that covers uh, all the sports events and thing, uh, sports activities and stuff that the kids get involved in, um, as well as just tickering away at the um, the likes of the donation portion and the activity fees. Uh, as a decile 10 school, we're a bit limited with our funding that we get from the government. Um, so this extra money allows us to do uh, more activities and provide extra resources for our children. Uh, we recently... Um, the end of last year bought a whole load of iPads um, and Chromebooks so we're working on lifting the available numbers of those um, in the communal devices for our kids to use um, in class. It uh, works really well in conjunction with the BYOD program in the, uh, in the rest of the school. Um, I guess there's not much else really for me to cover. Um, you will see on an exciting note um, you'll see some work being done on the playgrounds um, that's a culmination of some planning and some very generous donations from our 
PTA um, made up of uh, funds from fundraising such as the golf day and thing and the ball. Um, these events are really key and you'll be invited to those in due course. Um, they're a great day out, or day out in the case of the golf, um, evening out in the ball and then um, there's plans to do a Graham Henry fundraiser and things as well. So uh, invite you to those things in advance, uh, COVID willing. And um, yeah, so say so I look forward to seeing everybody on the sideline cheering at uh, flip a ball or, or cricket or rugby or whatever it is as we go forward. Um, all the best. Enjoy your time at Tamahiri. Make the most of it. Um, encourage your kids to really get out there and get stuck in. Uh, the more you do, the more you get out of things. So um, just just uh, enjoy. Here's the best for a good year on behalf of the board. And uh, as I said again, any questions, don't hesitate to uh, get in touch. Thanks very much.